Overcrowding isn't a new issue at the Hidalgo County Jail. Competing for space and other jails they use when they run out of space is. Sheriff Eddie Guerra sat down with our Taylor Winkle to discuss a temporary fix he says will lead to a permanent solution. Earlier today when I spoke to the sheriff, he told me he had 186 inmates sleeping in beds at other jails in other counties because he's so low on space at Hidalgo County Jail. By now, that number's increased to 201 at $54 a day per a person. It's an expensive problem to have. The county jail was pushed to capacity when it first opened in 2003. This problem is not going to go away. Now, Sheriff Eddie Guetta needs a fix. He's going to build new temporary barracks in this lot next to the facility while he waits for construction on a permanent addition. Every year, more people see their way through these jail doors. In 2016, 19,000 inmates were processed. In 2017, 21,000. Today, we're on track to book in over 24,000. Now they're fighting the feds for bed space in the jails where they usually send their overflow inmates. And they said, sorry, we're full. And that caught us, kind of caught us off guard. The current jail was built with 1,232 beds. The sheriff at the time when this facility was being built originally had gone to commissioner's court and requested a 2,000 bed jail. But it was cut down to what it is today. If they would have gone with that 2,000 bed jail, we would have been able to sell our excess beds currently to, to the federal government uh, since that time, uh, and we would have already paid for the facility. Sheriff says the government pays upwards of $54 a day to house inmates in other jail facilities. If we housed 200 a year, that's almost $4 million. The county commission agreed to let the sheriff build temporary housing as soon as he can present a plan on how to permanently expand the county jail affordably. Right now, they're looking into contractors. Reporting in the studio, Taylor Winkle, Channel 5 News at 6.